Hey, what's up, people? Jarrell here. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about R R R. <laughs> Man, that movie was so freaking epic. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you why. Man, uh, the action sequences were just phenomenal. Uh, the 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 plot line was was solid. Um, the the action was absolutely ridiculous. Um, and there was several, like like it was all a fitting story, but it felt like there was so much to the three hours that I watched that like, um, what I mean by this is like, there's a lot of stories, but it all connects to each other. And, uh, so it follows, uh, uh, this cop Raju, uh, that's going after this other revolutionary that, or uh, named Beam. And, uh, what they wind up being the best of friends in this shit. And whereas they don't, it, it, it I don't want to ruin it for you. It's just so damn good. <laughs> you know, I, it, it, it made you want to shout. And, and, and just just scream at the screen, just like, this shit is just so damn awesome, man. Oh, my God. The action was phenomenal. It, it just, it, it just, uh, it gave you so many emotions that, that like, even, there was even serious scenes in this to where it felt like there was, like, damn, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Shit. You know? But, but, but it wound up getting to the point to where, uh, where it brought you in and you never got bored. There was always something excellent ha happening while watching this movie. Personally, I don't normally care for the Bollywood uh, type of vibe with dance numbers or musicals. It's mainly musicals. It's not Bollywood that, that I'm against. It's mostly musicals that make me cringe. But, um... I'll say this, uh, it, it worked for this, it, and uh, it's not, they don't consider this film Bollywood, it's considered Tollywood, so in other words, I, I think they're in, uh, what do you call it, um, competition in, in India, as far as to like the two different franchises of Bollywood and Tollywood, but I like Tollywood a lot better, uh, Especially them giving it a little bit more play as to like why it's happening. You get, you get what I'm, you get what I mean. Like, what I mean by that is like, let the situation cause it. Like a dance off. Okay, I, I understand why this is happening. So, right, like where where it works in that way. But I, I. Uh, it had every which element you could think of for like a, a bomb gangster film. Like, like it, I mean, the show takes place in like the 1920s and, but, but then you get the feels of a 1980s action thriller that could have very well have starred Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone kind of vibes explosions and and, and, and and amazing just just it was just amazing and incredible bullshit if, if if that makes any kind of sense like like the most beautiful bullshit you will ever see on screen uh, reminded me of the one in certain areas of this film I know I know I I, I <laughs> I'm just so blown away by this movie man it's just so damn cool. I, I could watch this shit again. I, I was just... I, I'm telling you. Um, I feel like this movie needs to absolutely be seen in the movie theater. Um, this is this is some shit you bring your friends. And, and, and I'm telling you, you bring your popcorn. At the end of the movie, that popcorn is going to be like just all over the place. Just like, oh my God. They did that shit? I'm telling you. Um... There were some scenes in there that was just like, you know, the action was like, wow, like reminded me 
a, a, it was on some Tony job ja meets the one meets, it, it was just all over the place. Like, I was just like floored by this shit. Oh my goodness, man. The, uh, I, it's not one of those things to where I can just talk about it and be all monotone about it. Man, my, I, I'm telling you, my very energy is telling you how gangster this damn film is. It's just like, woo! Like, oh man, it, it just lit a fire under my ass, man. Like, damn, edge of your seat kind of shit. Like, like that was just the first viewing, man. I'm gonna see that shit again. SS, uh, I think is uh, SS, the director. Man, he was having fun with this. He, he was having so much fun. He, he, it's like he he enjoyed this. This was this was exciting. The villains were intriguing enough to, for me to believe it. They kind of they were the colonizing uh, British of India at that time period, and uh, and uh, he made them mad evil. I heard there was also um, a big uh, deal where he he got like what was it twenty thousand extras for for the movie. Man, he really, he, he really knocked that out the park. And uh, the budget was like 75 mil uh, to make this movie. But it looked like it was a top doggy blockbuster. It, it, it was just incredible. Like he had uh, 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 sequences with animals in it, like lions and, and wolves and, 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 and shit. Wilder beasts, like like there were all kinds of shit going on in this man. Like like it, it was on and popping. I, I I'm trying not to reiterate, but you have to see this movie if you are a lover of film. Hollywood could learn a thing or two about R R R. Like. That was probably one of the coldest uh, uh, recommendations my friend gave me in a minute. He's like, bro, bro, watch RRR, bro. <laughs> and man, I, I, I shit, shit. I, I loved every minute of it. I couldn't take my eyes off of that shit. Like, so amazing, so amazing. Anyway, that, I, I'm going to rate this. I, I'm giving it an A++, baby, because that shit bangs. That shit bangs. <laughs> anyway, like, comment, and subscribe for your boy. And uh, relish pictures. Out. Peace.